The Connecticut Air and Space Center is a non-profit air museum that displays vintage aircraft, memorabilia, and artifacts that pertain to Connecticut, both inside and out. The museum's motto is to, honor, preserve, educate. Honoring the founders, workers, and companies from Connecticut. Preserving the vehicles and artifacts they used. And educating this generation and the next about this history. Founded by George Gunther in 1998 after the closing of the Stratford Army Engine Plant, in Stratford, Connecticut. Currently the Connecticut Air and Space Center occupies buildings 6 and 53 at the former Stratford Army Engine Plant complex. The museum is one of only a handful throughout the country to be located in a portion of an original World War II aircraft factory. Topic history The Army Engine Plant, Stratford AEP, S. property is located at 550 South Main Street in Stratford, Connecticut. The 126-acre AEP, S. property is occupied by a U.S. government-owned, contractor-operated manufacturing facility comprising numerous manufacturing buildings. The operator was Textron Lycoming, a division of AVCO Corporation, a contractor to the U.S. Army Aviation Systems Command. The AEP.S property is bordered by industrial properties to the north, the Housatonic River to the east, a marsh which was a former landfill, to the south, and Igor I Sikorsky Memorial Airport to the west. Prior to 1927, the site was farmland. The property was developed in 1927 for Sikorsky Aircraft. In 1939, one of the world's first successful commercial helicopters, the Sikorsky VS-300, was developed in Stratford by Igor Sikorsky and flown at his plant. The Chance Vought Aircraft Company designed and constructed the Vought F-4U Corsair as well as several other seaplanes and fighters until they moved in 1949. The Vought Sikorsky Aircraft Division in Stratford built a total of 7,829 F 4U fighters, and these planes saw extensive combat in the Pacific Theater of Operations during World War II and played a supporting role in the Korean War. The Lycoming Company produced Wright radial engines at the site, and after World War II, the plant was converted to produce turbines. The site was then owned by the Air Force through 1976. Ownership was transferred to the U.S. Army in 1976. Because of the base realignment and closure actions of the United States Department of Defense, closure of the plant was recommended in July 1995. The plant closed in October 1998. The Connecticut Air and Space Center currently occupies the research and design hangar where all experimental testing was performed by Chance Vought from 1944 to 1948. It's the hope of the members of the CASC to remain at this location to later develop a world-class museum. In 2012 the museum was damaged by Hurricane Sandy. In 2016, a Sikorsky S-76 was donated to the museum for use as a parts source. Topic location The Connecticut Air and Space Center features displays and archives pertaining to the history of the Stratford Army engine plant. There are currently 14 aircraft on display and 8 engines that were built at the plant. The site sits on eight acres and consists of six buildings, of which only two are operational. The site sits directly across Main Street from the Igor I Sikorsky Memorial Airport in the town of Stratford, Court. Topic Curtis Hangar Restoration Working with the town of Stratford and city of Bridgeport, the Connecticut Air and Space Center was able to secure a 98-year lease for the dilapidated Curtis Aircraft Hangar in 2015. It is the goal of the CASC to restore the significant structure back to its former glory when it was built in 1929. Groundbreaking for the restoration occurred in May 2016. Uh, 
Topic: Restorations. There are currently four major restorations in progress, including a pair of Sikorsky S-52 helicopters, one that is a Korean War H-05S veteran and another civilian model S-52. The S-52, owned by the USMC, is currently being reassembled for display at the National Museum of the Marine Corps. The museum's own H-05S, while still missing several major components, has progressed to a point that it can sit on its own landing gear. The unique one-of-a-kind Sikorsky S-60 prototype has been undergoing a major restoration since 2010 when she was acquired from the New England Air Museum. The cockpit section is expected to be completed by 2018. Simultaneously the center section, wing spar, and rear fuselage section are all progressing as well with most of the torn wreckage removed and replaced with new metal. In 2008 the museum was entrusted by the city of Bridgeport with the restoration of the former gate guard at the Sikorsky Memorial Airport, the much locally discussed Goodyear FG-1D Corsair. Work began in earnest and currently she is at the halfway point with completion expected around 2020. Many detailed components need to still be sourced and, or rebuilt. In 2014, restoration was started on an 06 that served in the Vietnam War. Topic restrictions on entry The Connecticut Air and Space Center opened in 1998 to the public but with one major restriction. Since the site is controlled by the federal government, visitors must be over 18 years of age and attend a safety briefing before entering the gate. Aircraft on display FG-1D Corsair 92460 It was previously located on a pole at the Sikorsky Memorial Airport. Whitehead No. 21 replica, achieved powered flight at Igor the first Sikorsky Memorial Airport in December 1986, piloted by Andy Koch. Northrop T-38A Talon 600900 Cessna T37B Tweet 57-2346 Lockheed T33B Shooting Star 57-6558 Cessna O2A Skymaster 67 21318 Cessna 150L 15074606 Bell 47 Sikorsky S-52 Sikorsky S-52 Sikorsky S-55-52-7573 Sikorsky S-58 Sikorsky S-60 Hiller OH-23B Raven 51-16225 Christen Eagle 2 serial number 1 Hughes OH6A Cayusa 67-16477 Topic See also List of aerospace museums